YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by viewers like you. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. What's going on, my boys? Welcome back to another episode of Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. Today, we're going to be getting in there to talk about the new Hazy Flame mini box that was just released. And, my boys, I will tell you, it's going to be a struggle especially up until the 15th. There's so many decks in the meta right now that are considered tier two or tier three. Plus you have all the really strong rogue decks that are out. It's pretty tough to get a grasp on what exactly you need to be able to clap consistently in the meta with the Hazy Flame deck. Now I tried a bunch of decks in a bunch of different versions yesterday or earlier today on stream. I think I played for maybe four or five hours just consistently back to back to back to back and just playing a bunch of different versions like um, the classic beatdown OTK, um, an overlay style OTK, um, and also um, a bunch of different other OTKs that I thought would work, even Shiranui uh, combination OTK. But Here's the thing. What I find that works best is the control style using the uh, Beast Rising trap card. It's a really old trap card that everybody has knowledge of or probably has. And um, using Beast Rising in combination with Avatar is a pretty deadly combo. Putting Hazy Flame Sphinx up to 3,800 is pretty crazy. And, um, or even higher than 3,800 is pretty bananas. And then on top of that, um, you know, you can get to stupid heights like 10,000 attack points, which I have done, and it's just bananas. But honestly, I feel like the control version of Hazy's is definitely the way to go. Basil Trace is definitely not a strong enough tower to sit on his own. You know, when you look at someone like Cockadus, for example, Cockadus costs maybe one card to summon. Um, Basil Trace costs your entire hand and field to summon. It's just not the same kind of uh, monster. And uh, basically you can really see that as you are playing through the duels and you come up against Al 30 Vokers and other things. All right, my boys, we are rocking the aroma strategy using three hazy pillar and three beast rising. Honestly, you're just hoping on the hard draw for those two cards. But outside of that, you know, you can use uh, fire, uh, your hazy flame Cerberus and the fire king avatar combo to search out pretty much every card in the deck. Um, and then also you have your beast rising, which definitely gives you the advantage and the boost. Now, I didn't really put together too much of an extra deck. Honestly, I was super demotivated because you don't really need to use your extra deck with this deck. You know, you're gonna summon a pyro monster. Pyro does not work with beast rising. Um, and um, that's it. <laughs> There's only uh, rank six you can hit with this deck. Um, you could potentially hit a rank four, but you'd probably never do that. It'd be a better idea to pop off Beast Rising. And um, I'm also running one Beast King Barbaros and one Kaiser Vors Raider. These two cards can brick up. So I would suggest maybe adding in the two Fire King 1800 monsters that can search out um, each, search out this card. But honestly, I use these cards just to give an additional boost. And also in case I brick and I don't have a means of summoning a Hazy Monster or Hazy Sphinx, I can at least get out Kaiser Vors Raider for the special summon to facilitate the combo. Because this deck dies if you can't get two monsters out. And if one of them gets floodgated and things like that, it's easy to fall behind. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, keep it deck. All right, my boys, let's do this. I've been so tilted, I'm not even gonna lie. The stream had me tilted, but after playing that stream and getting in there on so many duels and going back and forth and, you know, just just seeing a bunch of different stuff, I found out the way to run this deck and it's uh, <laughs> exactly how you thought. So, uh, well, well, not how you thought, I guess. I guess how I thought when I was talking about playing Beast Rising earlier. But basically, I made changes to the deck so that Beast Rising <laughs> never moves. All right, we're gonna activate, and we got a monster on top, so let's pick monster. And we're gonna special summon, and we bring out this boy. And now we have a negate on the field. We can stop an we can stop an attack if we activate Beast Rising during the damage step, and we can also get a boost, and also we can't be targeted. And this is kind of all you need 
you kind you don't need to play anything else. You don't need to play Vassal Trace. You don't need to play anything. Just Beast Rising and use Fire King Avatar. And that's enough to control the board and win the game. Which is, you know, not how I want to run it. You know, you know how I want to run it, but how I want to run it is not consistent enough uh, to win. But you know, it's, it is good, but it's just not consistent enough. All right, Labyrinth, set a card and then he Labyrinth Builder. Okay. Set two cards and Labyrinth Builder. What is this? Uh, that's fine. I'm not gonna reveal the Beast Rising yet. Gonna draw. We go on top of a trap card. All right, so we're going to, well, we wouldn't be able to summon anything. Well, I mean, we could special summon from the hand, of course. And then I could flip the Beast Rising and activate it and then uh, normal summon again or whatever. And then have uh, a big boost. Or I could just uh, summon, activate the Beast Rising, get the boost, and then activate, flip off top and get the card. Okay. And then I still got my negate. So I'll summon. Yeah, summon without using a tribute. And then uh, that went through just fine. So I'll pop Beast Rising. And then use effect now. So what's cool is, even though the monster's points has been reduced, um, I'll get the full 2,000 points. And then I'm gonna activate the effect. I'm gonna call it Trap Card, right? Yeah, Trap Card. Oh look, I guessed it right. And I'm gonna special summon from my hand. Yet another monster. And um, we still have the negate and we can search. Uh, plus we got, you know, 3,900 monster. So first I'm gonna break down this labyrinth wall real fast. Cause whatever that is over there, you know, gonna have to get punished. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna smack this because if I have to negate it, then I'll tribute uh, the Cerberus off. Oh, it's Alistair? Well, boy, you won't be getting Alistair. You will not be seeing that invoker. And destroy my beast. And get my search. And then you grab another Cerberus. Pick 18. 18 of those things. Can your beast rise and do this? That's old school for the old school. Now see how you see how you have a negate. You have control of the board. Like it's just, it's a control deck, but it's not, you know, not the hazy style that I enjoy. I enjoy the OTK beatdown style, but control works just fine. Hazy pillar plus King Avatar plus Beast Rising. And you just put it all on Hazy Sphinx and Hazy Sphinx can continuously special summon over and over and over again. And you'll always have a negate and you'll just keep going. Just don't stop. Okay. What we got on top? We got a monster on top. All right. So um, I'm going to do that same little combo trick that I did before. Um, he's not going to like it. <laughs> Duelist hate him. Uh, I'm just going to. Normal summons card without a tribute. Put him on the board. I'm gonna beast rising. I'm gonna banish this. And I'm gonna put the power on him. So now I got a 3800 that can negate. <laughs> I'm gonna activate my effect. Use monster. Yeah, get out of here. All right, here we go. Against the Shizu. We're gonna send a Shizu back to the streets, my boy. Hazy Pillar as our top deck. Now that's hilarious, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hazy Pillar sitting at the top deck, my boy. Uh, <laughs> Omega Oof. Uh, only thing I can do at this point. I mean, I could summon, and if it dies, I can go get it, and it'll protect me from a thousand points. And I can still go get Hazy Pillar, so it doesn't really matter. So it, it's kind of funny that Hazy Pillar is the card that's on top of all cards. Uh, Necro Valley, that's fine, guy. 
That's fine. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, sure. Look at him. He's really, he's really gonna go in. All right, here it is, big fusion time, spiritualist. Now I'm not worried about spiritualist because Beast Rising is gonna get us out of this one. But, you know, Grave Keepers are pretty good at destroying stuff because they have that uh, one Grave Keeper monster that can trigger monsters and blow stuff up. And then also you can search his deck for whatever you want to do. Um, so, pop Cerberus, use the effect, yes. Gonna go grab the Hazy Pillar. <laughs> and then you got Hazy Sphinx on top too. And that's good, Hazy Sphinx is on top. Because that way, you know, after I use Pertrin's effect, I'm gonna put three monsters on the board. And then we're gonna boost to uh, uh, 3,800. And then I'll be able to run his monster over and possibly kill him. Um, end of the turn. <laughs> beast rising. <laughs> it's beast rising. Yes, boy. All right, here we go. It's clap time now. All right. Dotto. Nice. All right. Another beast rising. So here's my hazy pillar. Uh, here's my normal summon off of the pillar. Activating my effect. And then I'm going to drop these two. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm going to drop uh, these two. And I'm going to summon one and two. One and two. And then what do we have on top? A monster effect. Ooh, that's a good monster effect to have on top. Um, we're going to activate. And we're going to say monster, please. And then special summon from my hand because I can't do it from the grave. And then, um, you know, honestly, I could just banish it, right? Uh, let me just double check. It says during your main phase, uh, you can at the end of the phase you can get a great group monster or Necro Valley. Uh, it's got a nah. That's on the field. Necro Valley's on the field. Discard any card in monster zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. All right. So yeah, we can definitely banish it. Uh, but nah, I don't, I don't know. I kind of feel like if we banish it, more shenanigans can happen and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go with my beast rising strategy, which is why I told you it's, you know, <laughs> it's funny because it doesn't really like, you don't need the, uh, the, all that extra stuff. You only just need, you know, the good stuff. So, put two G's on this man. Go 39. Take 2,000. And then next turn, um, he's not going to be able to escape because he can't target these monsters. Can't you? Well, he can use Graveyard, I think, because Grave Keepers. But, you know, that doesn't really matter. And then, uh, yeah, there's nothing he can really do. And then I'm going to, at the end turn, activate Beast Rising. I'm going to uh, banish this, power up my boy again, 59, yeah, 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 I know, I know, draw, and then uh, I'm activate, I'm going to say monster again, i a special summon uh, from my hand, well, I guess I can't really use this, well, no, I can, because he's at, only got 1400 life left. So this will be GG. And then we're gonna battle. And I'm gonna attack face down with 59. Sorry. And take 16. Die. <laughs> Beast rising, man. Beast rising. Duel. Alright. This is what I'm talking about. Right, set this beast rising. Activate the paper pillar. Card, you can my pillar. Activate the effects for monster. Special summon. Attack mode. And then Alright. 
So this should be interesting. We'll see what he does. I've got two hazy monsters sitting up here. Oh, Cosmic Cyclone. What is he going to pick? In the back row? Well, I guess I'll be chaining it. And uh, using effect right now. So that's that's another good thing. You can at least get one effect off. And typically one off is enough. You know, 38 is a lot. It's respectable for a monster that can special summon monsters for free and can't be targeted. That's pretty respectable in terms of attack points. Now he's in a big tough spot because you can't just run this monster over that easily. Okay. Okay. All right now. All right, we're gonna beat him. Dutto. Okay, first off, we're just gonna summon using uh, Pillar's effect. Yes, maybe Pillar. We're gonna activate. It's the second Gravekeeper dude. Just kind of bananas. Put two in the grave, and then we're gonna put out uh, two big burly beasts. There's one. There's two. And I'm um, gonna hit up that exceed. Oh, hey, hey, get to use it. Drop that box of trace. Oh, well, kill your monster, boy. Kill your monster. It better be like Bacon Saver or something. It better be Bacon Saver. <laughs> Thank you. Now I die. There you go. Beast rising. Not what I want, but hey, it's effective. Meh.